asking for too much. It's not too much. We are saying that allow credible elections. Election. Give us good electoral skills. Yes. Let us know that whoever gets into office is actually to have the will of the people, yes. have the mandate of the people, yes. nothing else. And I call on this night National Assembly. You have been infamous. You have been infamous. It is time for you, for even if you are known for one thing, nobody is 100% bad. Even if you are known for one thing, give Nigeria a credible electoral skill. INEC is doing a fantastic thing now by ensuring electronic registration of voters. So why will the National Assembly now take INEC back? So we we'll lose the gains that are being proposed by INEC. INEC is ready. INEC is ready. INEC did it in Edo. I like did it in a Ondo yes, and, and, and even Nasarawa by election. So, so if INEC is ready, why don't we support INEC? Is it not the same government? Yes, sir. If, if they are supported, yes. would, wouldn't the president of the world government, wouldn't they take credit for... We don't want our media people to be killed in violent election. We don't want our security agencies, our policemen, our DSS officials, we, our youth core members who are always the prime target. We don't want them to be killed any longer. We don't want them to be harassed any longer. It is only when we make elections to be free, fair, and credible that we'll be able to protect the life of our core members, we'll be able to protect the life of our people. Election is not war. We must never make it a war. Those who feel very strongly about any amendment that they think should be effected in the Electoral Act should contact or talk to their members of the House of Representatives as well as the single senators. I want to state categorically clear here that presiding officers are not the ones to determine what is carried and what is not.